Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. Today we will start with the, a new module, which is module number three, body and mind. On page 55, you can find here these three questions, find their answers, and answer them in, well, by your own. Let's turn into the other page, which is the uh, unit five, the mind. So on page 56, 56 in your books, page 56 in here, let's start with the pre-reading questions. Number one, what are some of the feelings that make you happy? So happiness is a feeling. What are the things that would make you happy? You could give answers like, being with my friends and family makes me happy. Other things that makes me happy are reading your hobbies, reading a book, eating a nice meal, or going on holiday, getting good marks, anything that could make you happy. The other question is about happiness itself. Do you think that happiness is a relative state? It is related with other things. Like, do you relate your happiness with people, with things that happen to you? You can say, yes. I would say that it is a relative state. For example, when you have been ill or sick, you are happy just to be, uh, just to be feeling better. Whereas under a normal circumstances or in, uh, in a normal day, something else makes you happy. So you could feel happy today because you got a, a good mark. Yesterday you were happy because you felt better. So it is related to other things. Let's go ahead. On page 56, we have the reading text here. Where do you think that this reading came from? The answer is, it came from a magazine. So the answer is C. You would find that this is a piece, an article from a magazine. There are some clues, however, as to what makes us happy. We know, for example, that it is necessary to have the reasonable amount of material possessions. Yes, we cannot, we cannot deny that being happy is related to the idea of material things. When you have a good car, a good house, a reasonable, a good number of material possessions, things that you own. But more than that doesn't make m much difference. On average, people in America and Europe, there is a study here, are twice as wealthy as they were 40 years ago. So. Nowadays, they are richer, they, are more, they had more possessions, but yet surveys shows that they are not as happy. In fact, in many cases, they are less so. So they are not happier. They, were, they had less things in the past, but now they are not happier, even though they are richer. It is not surprising that people who have a large circle of friends and usually happy, uh, are usually happier than those who do not have much of social life. So here we have the idea of having a social life. When you are around people, you are happier. And that healthy people are happier than sick people. Yes, when you are, ha when you are healthy, when you are in a good, a, a good physical condition, you are happier. What is surprising to most of us that disabled people, who are disabled people, people who cannot walk, they have disability. These people cannot walk, they have mental illness or these stuff. These people have the same, uh, the same possibility for happiness as the rest of us do. So they are equal to us. They are not miserable, uh, m more miserable than we are. Even, even people who have, who have been seriously injured, when you have an accident, they describe themselves as happy three weeks afterwards. So it is a relative state. They compare themselves uh, uh, with yesterday or the day before it. Paragraph three, the truth is that happiness is a relative state. Yes, if you discover that something abs uh, absolutely awful is going to happen, then the life you had been leading up to that point, that point can seem like an absolute bliss. It is a happiness. If you don't feel happy, then you know that this life is going to vanish. You're not going to have your family anymore. You would believe that today is, you are happy. It's a bliss. Although you probably thought it was miserable while you were living it. Okay, so it is a relative state. The following paragraph, it seems it seems, however, that those of us 
who are lucky enough to achieve happiness are going to mess it up anyway. So people are ruining their happiness. Unfortunately, many of, uh, many of, uh, many of the things that make us happy are also the things that we became addicted to. The idea of addiction, we want more and more. We still ask for more. In order to prove this, scientists carried an experiment. They had an experiment, and mostly experiments are on rats. We have them on rats. So they put the, uh, they attach uh, electric codes. These are the electric codes onto the rats, uh, uh, into the rat's brain, and connected them to a handle in the animal's cage that could directly stimulate. It would make it more and more. It make its pleasure center by pressing the handle. So when the rat press the handle, he would it it would feel happy. Then the rest, uh, the result. Then they found. The, the, the result was that the rat kept pressing and pressing, continuously pressing and pressing on the handle instead of eating it. So he stopped, uh, the rat stopped eating and drinking and started pressing just for the sake of happiness. Humans are different from rats. Yes, we are much better than, than it, but research has shown that they are too can fall into the trap. What is a trap? we can fall in the same thing. We are addicted to happiness. We want to be much more happy. Paragraph, the, uh, the next following paragraph. One of the reasons we, we, uh, we have such a problem with happiness is that we confuse it with life and touch by negative feelings such as anxiety, rage, when you are nervous, when you are angry, doubt, and sadness. So happiness is, is not about the idea of not being sad. We have a naive belief, we are childish belief, that happiness means that nothing ever goes wrong. So happiness can, can be when you are sick or, uh, uh, or disabled. In order to be happy, we need to come to terms with, with a few truths. We must learn how to live con contentedly with the negative elements. So you have to accept your life of life rather than attempting to live a life where nothing bad ever happens. So this is, this is a human destiny. We should feel things that are bad, things we, we should have sadness and many other things. A professor, so we had a study here. A professor at the University of Chicago, Miali Shinza Mihali, has spent a great deal along our searching, uh, searching happiness and has proved us with some food of thought. We have a treasure of ideas. He believes that the key of, to happiness is something that is the flow. So what do we mean by the word flow? We have the idea here of flow. Flow is the state. You, uh, the state you are in when you are doing something that completely absorbs you, something that takes you all. You can't feel yourself. The happiness is not about the, something that are material, it is a feeling. It comes when you are pushed right up to the limit of your ability. Your, uh, 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 like an, an adventure. You are pushed to, the, to your maximum, but not beyond it, which is not beyond your ability. People can get a feeling of flow from dangerous sport. So we have extreme sport, like climbing a mountain, we have bungee jumping, driving too fast, but it can also come from strenuous pursuit, like something that is reasonable, something that is demanding, something that, that requires you, like your homeworks, let's say, like painting, like reading a great, uh, a great book. So it is not something that is uh, strenuous, is demanding, it requires you effort, but, it's not, but it, uh, it takes you all. The point is that people do these things because they want to and not because they are looking for a reward. So it is not about the reward, it is you feel that you want to do this thing. The, re the, the really curious thing is that despite the fact that we are familiar with what makes us happy, we know how to feel good. We still do not do those things very much. For example, a study shows while playing sport, people have a flow, the flow which is the, feel the happiness feeling. A flow of 30%, where 30, 30, 35%, whereas when they are watching TV, 
they have no flow at all. So comparing the flow, 35% more when you are uh, working out. So they, when they watch TV, 10 times as long as they spend playing sport. No, they, they have a flow at all yet, but people watch TV much more than, so they are not paying attention to what is make them happy. A good measuring stick for the uh, stick for those of us who are desperately seeking happiness is asking we should ask ourselves is what I am doing today contributing is adding or it is uh, working on is working on the things that most important in my life if not why are you doing so just go back and revise yourself are the things that you are, you are doing make you happy or they are not Based on this reading, we're going to answer these questions, which are in the, in the previous page, page 56. What was true of people 40 years ago? People in Europe and America 40 years ago, they were richer, generally happier, reasonable amount of material, they were richer, they were generally less happy. The answer is they were happier. Yes, they were poorer, they didn't have much more possessions, but they were happier. What facts surprise most of people? That disabled people are not happy, that people who do not have much of social life are not happy, that people with busy life are happy, that sick people are happy. So the answer here, uh, disabled people, people are not unhappy. They are happy. Disabled people are happy. What happens when people discover something bad is about to happen? It's a relative state. So they feel that their life previously and un un uh, unbearable lives were that were weren't that bad after all. So the life that you are complaining from it is a happy life. Four. What happens each time the rat press a handle? The rat when it, it press, press the handle, its appetite disappear, which is that the the uh, the, uh, the feeling of if you want to eat, fell into a trap. Ate, a, ate and drink and felt very good? The answer is he felt happy, which is the flow. According to the writer, what, what do we need to be happy? What do we need to be happy? We need to learn to accept that life is something difficult. There, there are uh, awful moments, there are miserable times, and many other things. Let's discuss the idea. We have the sentence, the flow is the state that you are in when you are doing something that completely absorbs you. We have discussed this one. What do we mean by, by the flow? The flow is, the answer is here, uh, uh, the answer is by doing how to, how can we get the flow? By doing something that you really like. A dangerous sport, we refer to dangerous sport, uh, uh, we refer to reading a book, spending time with family. Anything that absorbs you, you feel that you are totally with it. In uh, the same page we have here, same paragraph, we have it comes when you are pushed right up to the limit of your ability, but not beyond it. This it, what do you mean by this it? This it means you will go be to the sentence that comes before it, so it is the uh, ability. We refer here to your ability. Let's continue. We will discuss things which, which are the word, the, the new vocab. What do we mean by reasonable amount of positions? Reasonable is not too big and not too small, fairly large. You have a good number of, you have a good car, a good house, clothing, and so on. When you feel, when you feel happy, it's a bless. A bless is happiness. It's not emptiness, you feel empty or you feel the truth, it is feeling happy. When the rat pressed, it stimulates. Stimulating, it makes it, makes it more and more. So to activate, he fe it feels happy. A naive meaning, naive with a childish or unrealistic, something that is not real. Something that is not real, naive. Strenuous, 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 it means that it's something that is demanding, like reading a book, spending time with a family, it is demanding, it asks you to do, not fun, something that is not fun. After reading this one, let's do these, these questions which are uh, on the same page, page 56. What do you believe, do you believe that it is really hard for humans to be happy? 
I believe that you be that you think it seems to be. Yes, it is hard to be happy. People generally seem to need more and more to be happy. However, I think that if they if we try, we can find happiness. Hopefully that we try hard and find happiness. Next, after reading the text, would you consider making any changes into your daily life about being happy? Why and why not? Yes, I would change the certain things. I might try to do things that make me feel good more often. I also think I would take the advice given in the text and try to live peacefully in spite of the things that we that go wrong. So these are about discussing the reading passage. Let's go to the following page. The following page we have uh, uh, we have the vocab on the following page. Let's check it. Page fifty six. Uh, page fifty eight. On page fifty eight. Okay, in your books on page fifty. 58, mm -hmm. page 58 in your books. Here we have the vocab part, which is an adjective plus a proposition. An example for an adjective is like big, small. So here, the question is, complete the sentences below with the missing proposition. Propositions like with, of, or about. We will discuss these three propositions, with, of, and about. So human, humans are different then you would say here, humans are different from rats. So after different, we would use rats here. Different from rats because they are a bit more complicated. Despite the fact that we are familiar, we use, what do we use after familiar? Familiar with. We are familiar with things, okay? With what makes us happy. Now the exercise, exercise B, the sentences, complete the sentences with the proposition, complete the sentences with the propositions in the box. So you would use whether with, of, or about. You would use these three. Margaret is really proud of her son. She is really proud of her son. Number two, I am re really nervous about my interview, about my interview. With his little sister was born, when his little sister was born, Brad was very jealous of all the attention. He was jealous of all the attention. Number four. I am not familiar with, not familiar with something. Then, five, Albert was pleased with his exam result. He's pleased with his exam results. Then, are you angry, me? What do we use with angry? We would use with angry, we would use are you angry with me? After angry, you would use with. I am with ashamed, the adjective ashamed. I am ashamed of myself for spending so much money on a dress.